Whenever I watch a movie like Frozen, Ice Age, Beauty and the Beast, Monster Inc, and many more, have you ever wondered why you would like or dislike a character? Well, it's all because of how they are represented in the story itself. See, there is one thing we do not pay much attention to yet, it always acts as a key component to how we the viewer understands the character and interprets the story, that is character development. As we know, in the story there are three important components, rising action, climax, and falling action. Yet, without character development, the story simply wouldn't be complete. Because character development illustrates a character's growth throughout their journey, making them more realistic in their personalities and their characteristics. I wasn't going to tell you about this yet, but... But, I will reveal how animation movies develop the characters, which is through something called Main Character Resolve. According to Dramatica, Main Character Resolve is the process in which character deals with his or her inner conflict that would either solve or expand the problem of the story. Interestingly, different media have different methods of developing a character. Despite the differences in the approach, it still manages to create a successful Main Character Resolve. I will be unraveling the character development in movies via a very famous movie loved by the many, which is Toy Story 1, directed by John Lasseter, produced by Pixar and Disney. While the movie story remained as a buddy movie, its characters are what really made Toy Story a success. The story is about two toys going through a roller coaster journey to eventually come to terms with each other's problems. The protagonist, Woody, is an old fashioned cowboy toy who is Andy's favorite toy. He has a strong sense of leadership and keeping his community safe and appears as a steadfast fast character in the beginning. On the other hand, the antagonist, Buzz Lightyear, is a space fighter toy who is an adventurer with creativity and imagination. The characters are very much the opposite of each other. One old, one new. When Buzz first joined the toys, he was fresh off the boat. He truly believed he was a space ranger and not a toy like the rest. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Woody confronted his belief, but Buzz did not care. I, I think the word you're searching for is space ranger. From the exchange of words, the audience could see the tension rising. For example, here. He doesn't fight evil or, or shoot lasers or fly. And here. What? What? These are plastic. I can't fly. Any. I can. You can. 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 And furthermore, Buzz's arrival disrupted Woody's control of the environment. There is a hint of hierarchy shown by Woody at this moment. Buzz quickly became the new all-time favorite among Andy and the toys. Woody's position as the core toy has been threatened by Buzz. Therefore, Woody tried to get rid of Buzz. He failed, but the lamp did it for him. In more details. The other toys saw the selfishness of Woody, accused him of killing Buzz, and threw him out the same way. Oh, Woody, huh? You're gonna knock me out of the window too? Up to this point, the directors really played well with the contrast between Woody and Buzz as a character. Buzz's outfit, functionality, thinking were very advanced. In comparison, Woody's outfit and thinking were very old-fashioned. The contrast pretty much was summed up by a song in the movie. Sud some strange things are happening to me. Buzz, like you're Now the inner problem has revealed itself to the audience that Woody and Buzz can't cope with each other, the directors threw in another problem that directly links to the storyline. Buzz got snatched by the neighbor boy who is also an antagonist character in contrast to Andy who loved these toys. People would expect Woody to be happy because the problem has been solved, he is back to his secure environment and position. Instead, Woody chose to save Buzz because he does not want to make Andy sad. This part shows the wholesomeness of Woody as a character and this was the transition point of the relationship between Woody and Buzz, as well as how the audience perceives them. So as Buzz got snatched, Buzz explored Sid's house and saw the commercial on TV. This was the big moment where Buzz faced his rejection for reality. To really exemplify this, they also used the song to summarize his whole feelings toward reality. Same as Woody, to demonstrate a similarity within a contrast. I'm here for you. 
You are a toy you can't fly. But then Buzz became a protagonist, and their relationship shifted. On top of that, the most important part of character development is the reflection of their choices and actions. This scene really demonstrated Woody's care for his people and Buzz's acceptance to towards reality. Oh, come on, Buzz! I... Buzz, I can't do this without you. I need your help. I can't help. You and we'll make a break for Andy's house. Andy's house, Sid's house. What's the difference? Oh, Buzz, you've had a big fall. You, you must not be thinking clearly. No, Woody. For the first time, I am thinking clearly. You were right all along. I'm not a space ranger. I'm just a toy, a stupid little insignificant toy. Whoa, hey, wait a minute. Being a toy is a lot better than being a, a space ranger. Yeah, right. No, it is. Look, over in that house is a kid who thinks you are the greatest, and it's not because you're a space ranger, pal. It's because you're a toy. You are his toy. But why would Andy want me? Why would Andy want you? Look at you. You're a Buzz Lightyear. Any other toy would give up his moving parts just to be you. You've got wings. You glow in the dark. You talk. Your helmet does that, that, that whoosh thing. You are a cool toy. As a matter of fact, you're too cool. I mean, I mean, what chance does a toy like me have against a Buzz Lightyear action figure? All I can do is. Why would Andy ever want to play with me? He's got you. I'm the one that should be strapped to that rocket. Woody's ideology and faith for his community didn't fade out. It increases as he grows more maturely later in the film after going through a mutual conflict. Buzz, on the other hand, has evolved by changing his way of knowing by accepting the truth. There is somehow a balance between the characters' emotional development. Both characters got an equal amount of sense in their growth via similar problems, and this is a successful character development with a main character resolve.